Now, sports coverage in the panhandle spirit with Lee Baker. Hello, everyone. Most high school students still enjoying the holiday season, but for athletes, holidays history. No school yet, but games are back. Hoops this Tuesday. The Class 4A schools resume district play. Round 2 for the boys already game four of a 14 game schedule for the girls and we will start at the randall gym yeah, Ryan Glenn talking to his lady raiders getting ready to host the lady dogs of plainview and here's laura castillo with plainview a nice move up and in the shot at the other end the lady raiders uh coaches like this hustle the shot is off but jasmine mings makes her way to the hoop and she gets the follow one more time down the court on the run it'll be reagan klein he gets the foul and the free throw, but Plainview wins this one. The final score tonight, 50 to 32. All right, from there we go to the boys' game. Leslie Broadhurst got his Raiders ready to take on the Dogs, and I tell you what, Randall was hot early and often. Justin Jennings for a three from the corner, and Logan Britton, pretty good all-around athlete, takes on three defenders. Slip, but off the glass for two. I'm telling you, they couldn't miss. What's Bo Donovan from the other side? That's another three ball. Yikes. And then inside, a quick move by Redrell Holman, and the Raiders rack up some points. Final score tonight, Randall wins, so it's a split. The boys, 91-76. On the next page, Caprock goes to Canyon, where Canyon wins two games. Paladura goes to Friendship, and Friendship wins a pair. Herford hit the highway. They went to Dumas. The White Faces and Lady White Faces win each. All right, more action this time in the 5A ranks. Emerald High Girls hosting Clovis. And early on, it is uh, Brandy Leal. Wow. That's a three ball. And then just as quickly, here comes number 15 in your camera. And that's a layup. Clovis, good move here. Coming up some good ball rotation. Let Letitia Moon gets the basket. But it's Amarillo High who wins this one by four points, 57-53. All right, now we go to Tascosa. This afternoon, believe it or not, the Rebs hosting Lubbock Trinity Christian off the opening tip. Tanner Gregory gets a three-pointer for the visitors from the Hub City. The Rebs were hot early. Connor Thompson, I like this move. He a hop. You stop and you jump and he goes in. That's pretty nice. And then Avery Elkins had one of his two three-pointers here, but the Rebels lose the final 74-257. The Tascosa girls tonight lost at Lovett Cooper and back to Emerald High. The boys won, so it's a sweep for the Sandys over Clovis. All right, let's talk some Bulls hockey. Emerald still the class of the NAHL through 36 games. They have the best winning percentage and top almost all the league statistics. 24 games to play, so Dennis Williams not worried about his charges peaking too soon. Yeah, you know, you, you definitely, you know, there's also you get worried about that, but you know, when you'll take the wins as, as they come for sure, and, and um, you know, I, I don't think you know there, there's always the worry about you know did you play too good in the first half, but I, I don't think so with this group. I, I'm really confident in them. I, I think we're playing great hockey, playing confident in hockey, and we just got to tighten up some areas. And, and uh, you know, right now it's a lot of people are looking to make moves for their rosters and and you know update for the for the playoffs and try to get some better players out there and. You know, one thing we have is we have a, a really good hockey team right now. It's not something that we're really pursuing either. You know, we're just trying to tone up and work on your own skill set here. All right, if you look at the winning percentages and the league leaders, and you see what, how far the Bulls are ahead of everybody. Only Bismarck has a winning percentage close to the Bulls. And really, the only team with 60 points, two others have 50. And the other two division leaders, as you can see, Port Huron and Alaska, they are in the 40s. Again, the Bulls are on a home ice Friday and Saturday. Corpus Christi comes to town. Some other notes in the NHL, the Stars beaten 5-4 by the Red Wings. Sugar Bowl right now, as I came out to the set, let's see, Michigan and Virginia Tech were tied at 17 in the fourth quarter. Three NFL teams that did not make the playoffs are going to keep their head coaches anyway. The Bears, the Chargers, the Eagles are not changing. And I love this one. Jerry Jones told a Dallas radio station today that he does not plan to hire a general manager. You may not know this, but J.J. is the only owner, GM, and assistant coach in the league. Something about cluttering up the issues. By the way, the Rangers are up. Interviewing that. Yeah, actually, he's Japanese Iranian. Right. It's quite a combination. Who? You Darvish. You. 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 Who? Who you? You, you was on first. <laughs> don't, don't do you that. You pitching. <laughs> uh, We're gonna have a lot of that. It's why. It's yeah. why you. Fifty-one million just to talk to him. Yeah, that's that's that wow. European thing. Like soccer yeah. guys, you have to buy them and then pay them. Right. Oh, so like they do with us. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I guess it must be what it feels like to try to cross the Mojave Desert by foot. Lots of vultures over your shoulder wow. all the time, everywhere you look. Also, just like the newsroom, the invasion of one small town in Georgia next.